hate meat bees. They are the devil's There's, I can't with these meat. I just can't. The meat bees are like fucking. I need to be like over here fucking doing it. Like, Do it right there. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to be processing a bunch of of, of squail, squirrels? No, quail. Let me try that again. Today we're going to be processing a bunch of quail that we got from our buddy Brad. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. We're going to do them a couple different ways. We are going to scald and pluck some of them and some of them we are just going to skin out because we have about 100 birds to get through. So we're going to do some some way and some the other. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we've got everything set up over here to get the quail started. We're just gonna do it on the patio. It's a little different, easier procedure with the quail than it is when we're doing like big Cornish and a lot of them in a day. So- We think. We think. We've never done this before. <laughs> we haven't done it before, but from what we have uh, witnessed today and uh, from Brad doing one and everything. So we've got them separated out. The tray at the very bottom has one roux and the rest females. And Mike has said, let the record show, Mike has said that I can keep that tray. For now. For now. I I've, can process that tray in an hour after work one day if this, this is doesn't true. work out. So I've got an old parrot cage that I'm actually gonna put them in uh, in the in the interim until we build the uh, proper structure. But we realized that uh, you know we might as well get started since we've got them. We've got all our stuff here. We've got our scalding pot. We're gonna do them a couple different ways. We're gonna do some that we're gonna scald and pluck. So we've got our scalding water uh, at about It'll be about 155 uh, by the time we get started. We've got our ice chest with our ice salted down, our thermometer so we can check our scalding water, a pair of really good uh, shears, and a few trash bags to get us started here, and a hose. You always gotta have running water when you're doing this kind of thing. So, let's, let's do, do it. it. So there's two ways to do these birds. One is to uh, essentially skin them, and one of them is to pluck them. Both start with quickly dispatching the bird, uh, and that is gonna be done with a pair of poultry shears and off with the head. Then we need to bleed it out. All right, so I've got my scalding pot here. Uh, it's about 160 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and scald this for a few seconds. There's a little bit of dish soap in here. And I'm gonna get to plucking. These feathers just come right out. And it's really hot. That's why, I, one of the reasons why I have these gloves on, it just makes it a little easier to Get it done quickly without burning your fingers. Rinse this off a little bit in my clean water to get the feathers off so I can see what's actually still stuck to the bird versus versus what's uh, actually still attached. Is that a thermometer in your pocket or are you happy to see me? <laughs> it's just a thermometer in my pocket. I'm never that happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> After Sid has done that, I have another set of poultry shears here that are don't have the feathers all over them. I'm gonna nip off the legs, like so, and then I'm gonna spatchcock this, all right, which means I'm gonna cut the, the spine out. I'm gonna start right here and get it in and go right down the side of the spine all the way to the top, and then I'm gonna find the other side of the spine all the way down. Okay, now I'm gonna get a hold of the neck, the spine, uh, all of the innards, and pull all that out, okay? And got some lungs up here in the rib cage. I wanna get those out. This is for presentation of essentially a whole bird. 
This is definitely a more time consuming method of cleaning the bird, but uh, for that for that occasional nice presentation, we're just doing a percentage of them this way. So then we get a hold of this stuff right here, and out it comes. That one was definitely a boy. It was. And then I got a little bit right back here at the back. Okay, I've got another. Didn't quite get everything. There's a heart right there. Bitty bitty heart. And then a little rinse. I'll give it another look. Make sure everything's out of the inside. Now look at that presentation. Boom. Right? A couple of those on a plate. Cook nicely. Beautiful. Put it in the ice. We're gonna nip the wings off, okay? So right at the base of the wing, I'm just gonna nip that right off. That one, flip it over, same thing. Find the base of the wing, nip it right off. Then same thing with the legs, right at that joint there, boom. now cover this up for now so now what we're gonna do is just skin it out so I'm just gonna grab a hold like right where the chest is and just tear the skin boom just like that look at that all right now I'm just gonna pull the skin off the whole bird all the way around the legs are just gonna pop they're just gonna pull right out watch this boom leg just comes right out of the skin nice and easy if this were a, a dove, I would probably only take the the breast, but there's a little bit of meat on the quail legs, and we're gonna we're we're not gonna waste that. Okay, so we're gonna get all these, and then come the rest of the skin on the upper body. Pull it right off. And there's this patch on the back that, for whatever reason, the skin doesn't want to pull off of, but I just get as much of the feathers out of there. All right, get rid of that. All right, so now we've got this pretty much done, right? Except for it's still got its guts in there, so we got to get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do is grab this chest and Peel it up to the top like this, okay? Separating that from the spine and neck. And then just pull it right off. There's your beautiful breast meat. That's most of the meat in the bird right there, okay? <clears throat> Down here, we've got all of our insides still attached to the spine here, so I'm gonna get those pulled out um, and you know some people say oh you know there's no point in even keeping what you've got left there well I disagree hundred percent and I'll tell you why as soon as I get this pulled loose here not a lot of meat there however a lot of flavor I'm gonna use these right here. Uh, get rid of these little glands right here. I'm gonna use these right here, a whole bunch of these, and some onions and garlic, and maybe some celery carrots. and carrots. And I'm gonna make the most amazing quail broth stock that you've ever tasted in your life. So there it is. That's the easiest, quickest way to do it. There's an even quicker way if you wanna be wasteful, which is to only save the breast. Um, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, that right there, the, you know, that's a lot to throw away, so don't do that. Um, so that's two quick and easy methods. One quicker and easier than the other, but the two methods that we're going through, we've got about 90 birds here that we have to do today. So we're gonna do all the larger ones the hard way. And when we 
get sick and tired of it, we're gonna switch to this method. Shh, I'm hunting yellow jackets. Mm, I don't like them. On your finger, oh, it was. Uh, try to bite me. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications. Really?